Hello, today we're going to be covering the Google text document menu bar up here. So I'll take you through the individual items on the menu bar and then in the next episode we'll be covering the text formatting bar. On the first item here as we have is the file menu. And under it you basically have share, new, open, rename, make a copy, see revision history, language, under language you have different languages as you can see here and download this as which is you can export this document as Microsoft Word uh, open document rich text format PDF plain text or a web page also you can publish this to the web or email this to other people and email as attachment and also here is the page setup feature which shows you your portrait landscape and your margins here and the page color for the background And the last item of that is the print menu. As you click on the print menu, you'll notice this comes up and it gives a preview of what you're going to be printing over here on the right hand side. That's a loads of preview right there when we'll cancel that. On the next menu is edit. Here you can undo your last revision, redo it, cut, copy, paste. You'll notice that the cut and copy is not highlighted. So what we're going to do if we select some text here, then we click on the edit menu you'll notice that the cut and copy is option if something isn't hot if it if it is grayed out that means you do not have that options at this time and you have a uh, send something to the web clipboard select all find and replace text on the view menu you have your print layout show rulers show equation to bar and full screen now we're going to be covering all of these in detail in, in later episodes this is the insert menu. You basically can insert in this document images. We're going to be having a whole section on images, so I won't go over that right now. You can put a link, an equation, a drawing, a comment, footnote, special characters. As we click on that, you'll see these different little pictures here of special characters that you can insert in there. And you have a horizontal line, page number, page count, your header, footer, bookmarks, and table of contents. So as you, you can insert a table of contents here uh, by, you, by putting in uh, heading 1 and heading 2 will put items in the table of contents. And under your format bar here, you have bold, italic, strike through, superscript, subscript, paragraph styles, align, line spacing, list styles, and clear formatting. Under the Tools menu, you have Research, Define, Word, word Count, Translated Document and Preferences. Now watch what happens when I hit this Research. You'll notice over here on the right, you uh, have a complete, and let's see if we type in the word Navajo. You'll notice that if you're researching something on Navajo, all the, the different items here will come up like Wikipedia and other items will come up here about the about the Navajo whatever you type in this box will appear there so that's what the research button does and under the tools menu and you have word count translated document preferences here you have the table menu you can insert a table insert a row above it delete it and a bunch of other table properties and here is the help menu you have the help center user forum Google community report an issue, report abuse, and keyboard shortcuts, which we'll click on to show you what that looks like. These are This is a real important thing, is to be able to get and do things real quickly without having to use the pull-down menus, as you have a complete shortcut menu here that you can use. And then over here, you'll notice that it says, last edit was made January 25th by Harold Carey. Now, if I this has an automatic save feature that's turned on so if you watch here when I go and make a little edit here it'll say save up there now it says saving and now it says all changes saved in drive okay the last things over here is your comments so if you want to collaborate with this document you can click on the comments button it lets you type a comment that, that uh, for any part of the thing that you're working on that you can share with others and this here lets you share this document with other people. Right now, this deck, you'll see that this is private only to me. But if you click on the share button, 
you'll get a, a menu here that lets you change this to public instead of and also you can share this link here to Gmail, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll click Done here. And that covers the menu bar. Next we'll be covering this bar down here below the menu bar, which is called the text formatting bar.